Hello guys and welcome back to another M Creator tutorial. So today what we're going to be covering is the folders and how they basically work, some of the functions of them, and uh, some tips on if you're still having issues with them rolling all the items back into the main folder. Uh, most of you guys probably will already know how to use them by now, so I'm not expecting it to be too much of help to anyone at this point. Uh, which is why I have moved forward and created a couple new options for the, the upcoming um, week. So the next Picket tutorial will have new selection of items. First thing is, uh, we now have folders, and there is a main directory, which is usually your mod name, so it's right up here. This is just indicating that it is the main folder that uh, basically houses all your, basically your root folder, kind of like your C drive. That's basically what this is. It's just your C drive, your main directory. And uh, to create a new um, folder, you just go over to the folder selection on this side over here. You can click a new folder. You can give it a name. It doesn't need to have underscores or all be connected to um, each other. So you can actually do something like green apples and that would work perfectly fine. You don't have to worry about underscores or anything like that. It's not like a traditional namespace for um, naming things with like procedures and stuff like that. So we can click OK and then we have a folder right here called Green Apples. Why I don't know, it just was the first thing that came to my mind. So so we can actually click on it, double click on it and it will bring us into that folder. And if we want to go back, then we can either basically click on here and it will show us the files in that particular folder, or we can basically click on the folder here and it will bring us to the previous folder. Now, if we were in the green apples folder, we can also double click on the main root and it will bring us to that particular folder. Same as if you were to click the back button uh, right next to the create folder button right here. So uh, you can also have folders inside folders. So very similar to how Windows is. So we can call this one um, orange, why not? All right, so we'll call it orange and we can also put stuff inside this folder too. So if we wanna go back to folder, it'll show the contents of each folder depending on what directory we're in. So if we want to go back to Green Apple, we can see that there is a folder in Green Apple called Orange. So we can actually, pretty sure we can go, we're already in Orange, so that's why we're already going to Orange. All right, so if we want to drag items in, we can double click on it, generally and kind of just drag it over. It might take a couple attempts to do it. I've had issues in the past trying to bring it into new folders and you can either select multiple ones or have a single one selected like I do have at the, like I have at the moment. Uh, the icon will be a M creator icon if you're basically dragging more than one file in and um, it's really important to kind of pay attention to what kind of icon it is because you might be selecting more than you uh, actually want to bring into that folder. So that might be the only thing that you need to pay attention to. So once you have your file selected, as you can see, we have a little icon there with a procedure. We can just drag it into the folder and it'll remove it from the main directory and put it into the green apples folder, as we can see here. So if we go back, we could actually select a whole bunch of them. I'll select all the procedures. 
and then we'll just double click quickly and then we'll drag them all into the green apples folder. So that's basically how it all works. If you saw there, if there was a uh, mCreator icon, we'll do it again with this one. As you can see, there's a green mCreator icon with uh, just indicating that we have multiple files selected. So we'll put that into the orange folder instead. And then for these other two, what we'll do is we'll just bring them into the green apples folder. And that's basically how you can move them. Now, if you want them to go back a folder, then you can basically select the folders or files, pardon me, folders or files. You can move fol folders as well. And you can just drop them into one of the bars, uh, folders listed above. So if we want to bring all these to say the back to the main root, then we can just drag them over onto the main root and they'll end up in the main root again. So that's basically the gist of how folders work. Now there is some filter options as well. So if you have compiling errors, uh, you can basically search for compiling errors in the uh, whatever folder you are and any folders that go past that folder. So say we were in green apple and there's an error in orange and we know that it's somewhere around here. So we can actually type in basically filter it and then filter it with build errors. Now any errors that are happening in the green apples folder or any subfolders of that particular folder will show up with the error as well as any filtration of any types of things. So if we want to clear this and then we can basically search for procedures uh, down here somewhere and we can see that Green Apple has all the different types of procedures in the orange folder. Uh, it won't actually list what folder it's in, sadly, by the looks of it, but it will um, pull any particular, uh, what do you call it, files from the orange folder here, as you can see. Now, if we go back to our root folder and create another folder, so we'll call this one uh, stuff and then we'll grab these two and we'll put them in there and then we'll go back into the orange folder or the uh, green apples folder and then what we'll do is we'll filter that again and we will search for blocks somewhere around here as you can see no blocks show up because we're not in a we don't have any folders or blocks in this particular folder or any subfolders. If we go back over to here, then we know that we have a block right here, so it wasn't showing up. That's because we weren't in a folder like the main directory or anything like that. So if we click on the main directory, then we go and search for blocks, then blocks will show up because we're, we have subfolders and it's gonna be checking for those subfolders as well. So the last thing that I want to actually uh, point out is if you're having files uh, roll back into either the main folder or subfolders and um, even though that you've put them in there, there was a patch recently, well a while ago I guess, that basically allowed you to fix that issue. Uh, I worked with Clement to kind of narrow down the thing and it was actually due to um, basically having too many subfolders and what would happen is it would have something to do with performance and then roll everything back into the uh, the main folder or whatever folder that it could basically roll it back into. Now this was fixed so all you need to do to get this to basically work like I have it set up now is basically to go and reinstall mCreator with the latest uh, version of the download. So uh, it has been patched. It probably won't be listed as a patch because it was just a minor one, but um, definitely go down, download it again, install it, and then you should not have those issues anymore. Outside of that, that's all I have time for. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.